the thing is, I know I've not even gone like ultra Jewish mode here, by the way, guys. But I legitimately do need the caps because I've got my Megaton home. Uh, when I start streaming, I I disarm the bomb. I need to furnish it, and all this stuff in there does cost quite a bit. Hey Ben, welcome back. How you doing? Hey Panther Milk. This, you end up in this place, again for those of you that are wondering what I'm doing, this is for a quest, it's called the Wasteland Survival Guide, um, basically this kind of semi, well, I was going to say semi loopy, she's fucking batshit insane, this woman has sent me to the super duper mod just to see if there's any food or anything, uh, and medicine, so you basically write in like a, a Wasteland Survival novel, like a guide, and this is why I'm here. If I could avoid this place, trust me, I would. Avoid this place like the plague. Um, I'm going to have to start repairing to free up a little bit of space here. Okay, 175 out of 210. Good stuff. Oh! Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> the money shot right there. Damn. Damn. Okay, where's the other one? I can't believe how much damage I'm doing all of a sudden. I am popping heads left, right, and center here, guys. I am popping heads left, right, and center. Okay, have I cleared this place? Yeah, looks like it. I think it's time to go. Please don't tell me there are enemies outside here. Oh, nice. Boy, do I breathe a lot easier knowing that thing is truly dead. Um, okay, so what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to go back. Let me see if I can actually repair anything else. Yeah, so I can get rid of this junk. I can keep the hockey mask on and this Badlands armor. And then I think I'm good to go. Actually, you know what? I'll get rid of this. I don't need the 32 pistol. I'm kind of just collecting stuff for the sake of it now. I really don't need it. Um, the, I mean, the Chinese pistol. Two damage. Absolutely pointless. Yeah, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to rest for a little while. And then I'll have to hand this stuff in. Okay, what time is it? 1.37. If I sleep for around 7 hours, I think all the shops should be open. Uh, I'm going to be playing some GTA Online tomorrow, Ben. Here. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. Oh, thank you. No. Thank you. I'll go to Moira in just a second and hand this quest in, but first I want to get rid of the junk I'm carrying. Oh god, who's he seen? These goddamn ants. Well, that's the end of that. 
these fucking ants. Hey, Doc Hall. Looking for that special something? I am indeed. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to get rid of all the pistols. I don't really need them. But before I do, I'm thinking, shall I buy loads of stuff off him first? Hold on. Aid. Does he have... Oh, he does have right away. Nice. Okay, stim packs. How many stim packs do I have? 27. If I buy three... There we go, and now he's got a little bit of money to play with. Sorry, guys, one second. Let me just exit, because it looks like my... Pleasure doing business with you. Cheers. I'm going to tab out, and it's probably going to crash my game. Sorry, my IRC client's gone ape shit here. There we go. No idea what happened. Oh, come on, please. Please fall out, please. It's, it's not crashed, but it won't let me tab back into it. You know what? Shut it down, let's restart it. I sound like Jon Snow. <laughs> Thank you, Panther. Where are them creatures that bite people in the neck? I did that quest yesterday, Ben. Looking for your fix? Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag. Okay, we? so 32 pistol, 10 mil pistol, uh, Chinese pistol, laser pistol. Oh, I kind of want to keep the silence 10 mil pistol, but I'm never going to use this, am I? Let's be realistic. Sword off shotgun. I'll hold on to this. I think I'll hold, hold on to this shotgun just for the time being. But the condition's a bit shit, but it does insane amounts of damage. Shit, he's gonna run out of money. He's gonna run out of money. Pleasure doing business with you. Cheers, pal. Watch yourself out there. Hold on a second. Ah, actually, I'll do it later. Sorry, I'm just thinking about the quest with the um, thingy majiggies. You know, the leaking pipes. I'll hand in Moira's quest. So, how's the scavenging been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? It wasn't easy, but I got the food and the medicine. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. I found raiders and a robot. It was hardly a safe place to scavenge. Hmm. I'll do the intelligence one, I think. The raiders were using the pharmacy as a place to store the best gear. So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm. I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Hmm. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Tastes kind of great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Oh, yes. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, uh, better. <laughs> nice. I don't care about the iguana bits. I do care about the food sanitizer. Sweet. Okay. I'm ready to... Actually, you know what? You know what? What I'll do, I'll leave the Wasteland Survival Guide for the time being. I'll come back to Moira and we'll go and help 
uh, little Brian Wilkes, you know, to search for his dad. Because I'm intrigued about that storyline. I can't exactly remember what happened originally. But um, I've managed to win the speech challenge, so I've got the key to his dad's stash. You know, it might be weapons or it could be, you know, old playboys. We'll see. I'm taking a break from research. Well, okay. If you feel you really need one. Hey, Dominus, how you doing? Um, ben, I've already disarmed the Megaton nuke. This is why I have my own house. I'll show you in just a second. Um, let me see what you have for sale. What do you need? I'm just thinking. I'm going to have to buy some more ammo. I'm actually doing really, really well for some, you know, 556 ammo for the assault rifle. Um... Let's go and sell five of these. I'm going to have to buy some junk off Moira here, though. Again, I don't have enough money for this. I can buy a jukebox for my house. <laughs> um... Ideally, what I'm after is Radaway, right and no one seems to have it. I have quite a few stim packs, but I don't have enough Radaway. Right okay, that'll Good hunting. Do. All right, I need to rock and roll. Try not to die. Um, I could go to Moriarty's to get rid of some other junk there as well, and then I can go to the doctor last. Smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Hmm. Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? I hadn't planned on it. Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Ah, uh, I remember why I have all these options. Um, yeah, I think my game crashed yesterday and I had all the autosaves turned off, so I've basically got all of this stuff. So we can have a little chat with Gob, you know. Um, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. God, please. If you know anything about my father, you need to tell me. Sorry, smooth skin. Shit. I can't take the risk. Moriarty will beat the shit out of me for even talking to you. Yeah, these guys here... Oh, man. These are called... i um, see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately. Well, uh, uh, I think they're ghouls, aren't they? Correct me if I'm wrong, chap, but I think they are ghouls. But these guys basically survived, like, the worst of the radiation. Um, it's kind of weird. They're very... I, I, I want to say they're kind of zombified, but they've still got some grey matter left up in there, as you can see here. But they're, they're falling apart, basically. Um, where did you come from? A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C., I set off up here to find adventure and fortune, and, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Oh, <sighs> Colin still pisses me off on this game. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. Um, yeah, I can't quite remember why Gob is here. Basically, he... I think Moriarty took him in, if I remember the story, and to pay his debt off, 
he's basically Moriarty's slave. So not only does he work here, but he also has to pay for the roof over his head, you know, for his accommodation and stuff like that. He's got a pretty tough here, does our gob. He's, he's a really, really sick character. Um, okay, let's do this again. I'm looking for my father. I can't talk about that anymore. Oh, yeah, I need to Moriarty talk to Moriarty. Moriarty will beat me again if I do. Because I hate Moriarty so bad. Again, this is the main story quest. We'll come back later. I want to do loads of side quests first. And then we'll... Uh, We'll use Colin's PC, I think. How about a drink? Anything for you, friend. Okay, let's just see what I can get rid of here. What's the heaviest thing I'm carrying? I'll sell all these to the doctor downstairs. Um, actually... Yeah, let's get rid of these here. I think the game works where you've got specific vendors for stuff, so Gob is like, uh, obviously he works in a bar, so I think he'll give you a little bit more money for alcoholic stuff, you know, whiskey and, and beer and things like that. And obviously the doctor will give you more for meds, I think. Oh, man, I've got so much heavy stuff I totally forgot about. Um, oh, man, that food sanitizer. I'm going to have to get rid of that and then go to a different vendor. See you soon, drunkie. Bye-bye, Gob. Come back soon. They're humans, but... Oh, my God, I'm That's trying to remember their mind. story. They used to be humans, but when the nuclear war started, I think these guys were left out on the surface. You know, a lot of people obviously went underground into vaults and stuff like that. These were the guys that got caught up to it. Some of them turned into ghouls that are kind of rabid and attack anything on site. Basically, if, if you've ever seen the movie 28 Days Later, kind of like the zombies from Why there, but really fucked up, you'll see some later. He's kind of a cross, he's half and half, he's a ghoul, but he's also a human. Yeah, it's... I, I can't exactly remember, you do find out a story from Colin. I think you need to have quite high speech though, and he basically tells you about Gob. Yeah, but this this bomb's disarmed. We don't need to worry about that anymore. You only needed uh, 25 explosives. Hey, what can I get you? What's on the menu? Hey, I won't say it's all fresh, but it'll keep you going. Okay, 104 caps. Oh, God. Oh no, she's gonna run out of money, isn't she? That'll have to do. Enjoy. Bye bye. Come back if you need something. Okay, and doctor men, time. Women and children of the earth. You'd best have cancer because from the looks of you, you're breaking rule number <laughs> one right now. Oh, there is some characters in this game. There definitely is some characters. Yeah? What do you need? Um, I can't remember if that's on this Fallout or Fallout New Vegas, Ben. An old woman. Hmm. Could it be in Undercity, maybe? See, again, he has no Radaway. He has no Radaway and he has no caps. Shit. Try not to hurt yourself. What I'm going to do, because I'm carrying stuff that weighs quite a lot, but is also worth quite a bit, I'm going to have to start putting stuff away, guys. And then when I explore more of the map, I'll pick everything up and get rid of it. I should make a nice... Nice couple of caps out of it. Um, right, let's go and put everything in a desk. I think that's probably going to be the best... Best idea here. So, get rid of these. Get rid of all the scrap metal. And then I need to put some of this stuff away downstairs. Let's have a look at this food sanitizer. 
It should be in the notes. I forgot to actually check my notes as well. Okay, Brian Wilkes gave me a key to a special cache of items. It's located in the dumpster behind the old diner in Greyditch. This is where we're heading to now. Okay, sanitizer. Let's have a look at this. Just carry the sanitizer with you for food or beverages, and our patented Abraxo Lux Bacto Scour process will remove any trace of bacteria. <laughs> They're not responsible for any sickness, paralyzation, blindness, or death. Wow. Wow. Okay, we're going to do those. 75 out of 210. Not too bad. Have you played Fallout 3 or New Vegas? I'm sure you said yesterday you've not played any of the Fallout games, Ben. Didn't you? Shit, I'm just trying to think. You know what? I might start using the shotgun here for these ants. not discovered Greyditch. We'll go from the Super Duper Mart. Should be fine. I kind of want to go off the beaten path here, guys. <laughs> Again, I've got the DC Interiors mod. It looks like we can't go into that one, but I kind of really, really want to explore, but I also want to do quests. I'm like a kid in a candy store. There's so many activities. Oh, good. And the game's just crashed. Oh, boy. This is getting old pretty fast. Oh, you've watched the playthrough. I see. Really weird. It's crashing quite frequently now. It was fine yesterday. I've got a feeling it might be something to do with the load order here. You know, that's, you know, fucking it all. So you're like, what's that? Let's just have a look down here what this is first before we go and help Brian. It looks like is it some sort of a cafe? Oh, I remember this! I remember this because I remember getting attacked from the other side around there by super mutants. And I think there's a little boat place with an old lady sitting at. You know, on a, on a porch or whatever. See what we've got here. I know, Duck, I know. As far as I'm aware, I've got all of the anti crash mods, you know, the 4 gig enabler, uh, archive invalidation, you know, kind of all that junk. But it seems really, really random. Uh, I was playing this fine up to now and it's just crashed. So we'll see. Touch wood, we might be okay. It might not crash again. Although, again, it is a Bethesda game. It 
and I keep telling myself I don't want to save scum you know I don't want to just mash F5 every minute or so but it looks like I might have to here because oh my god it's crashed again oh Unfucking believable it's a good thing I quick saved what is DC Interiors? DC Interiors is basically a mod that adds extra interiors to the game. They have nothing to do with the storyline. It's just more places to explore. So, um, I mean, I can show you. I can show you a place I've already discovered. You know in the Seneca Station where you do the Blood Ties quest before you go down into the underground? If you remember, there is only one shop that, that you can enter. This just basically adds more places you can explore and search. You know, shops, properties, houses, stuff like that. <clears throat> I'd love to know what's making my game crash this often though. This is getting retarded. This is getting a little bit ridiculous now. And the worst thing is, um, the last time I played this I played it with about 40 or so mods. And I had two or three crashes during my whole playthrough. Okay, here we go. Let's quick save here, actually. Oh, that range! Holy shit! And I've missed. Damn, these guys are doing a lot of damage. Let me see if I've got any food with me. I kind of want to save these blood packs because I want to give them to, um, oh my god, what's the guy's name from the Blood Ties quest? Vance, I think? Yeah, so I'll keep that and I'll give those to him. And I forgot to put the nuka colas away. Shit. I'll have to use a stim pack here. You have 300 mods. I mean, if it crashes again, if you if you guys don't mind helping me, if there's any mods I've missed out, what I've downloaded is uh, basically like an updated Fallout 3 patch that has loads of stability mods included in it. Maybe, again, I'm missing the multi-core fix or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is running a lot worse than what I remember it running like. I'm going to have to get a grenade on this guy. In fact, let's start assigning stuff. 